St. Louis dealt with all of the issues that they dealt with. When they came out, uh, they had some – like that's kind of when they ran into some of their issues and had some yeah. of their losses that don't look as good right now. So, like, how do you – how do you value that if you're the committee? Because the big thing is like everyone, everybody's got a sob story when it comes down to it, you know? I don't know how you can. I don't think you can do it. Honestly, I don't think you can do it because like you said, everybody's going to have something. Um, now, some teams don't have anything. I mean, there's some teams I would love to, I don't have the time, but I would love to reach out. Maybe I'll do it when the season's over. I bet you there's 50 teams in the country that didn't have a pause this year on their, on their own, 50 Division One teams. That would be my guess. Everybody else probably had a pause. Um, so I, I I feel like, honestly, it's a roll of the dice. I don't think you can really utilize it if you're the committee um, because everybody's had something. Some have had – what do you what do you say? Because St. Louis's was a month, then you, 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 you value it where a two-week one, no, that doesn't really count. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know how you can do it. So I'm going to bring on someone, a special guest, to kind of argue yeah. his case to make sure that we get the the Billikens into the NCAA tournament field. Travis Ford, head coach of the St. Louis Billikens. What's going on, man? Look, there he you is. Need, you need to let Je- – oh, we lost him. Is he coming back? We need to we need to let Jeff know why St. Louis should be in the NCAA tournament right now because he's hating right now, Travis. Yeah, no, I'm not getting much love. From Jeff, I, I don't know what's going on. The uh, let's 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 educate Jeff a little bit right now. You know, no different than most years, they take in consideration injuries during a year to a good team. Somebody loses a couple of games, and they had their best player out. We were seven and one with great wins against LSU, NC State, and so on. The only loss was at Minnesota, when they might have been the hottest team in the country at the time. And then we go on a 23-day no-practice pause, zero practices in 23 days. And, gosh, it starts on the very first day we're supposed to have our conference game. We're supposed to do, play Duquesne that day. I get a 7 a.m. call. We have two players that are positive. Well, over the next seven days, we end up having 11 of our 15 players positive. Now, the biggest point out of all this is we only had four days to prepare for our next game. We had 34 days in between games, and we lose our first two games out of quarantine. 11 guys. That's like 11 injuries. Uh, I mean, we've all heard of some teams who've had four, five, maybe two. We had 11 players, and we lose our first two games. Those are our only two bad losses on our schedule, the only two. Two quad threes. Those were two quad three losses. The others were quad one and quad two. We've won seven of our last 10 games. You know, so I think we've got a great, you know, I think our numbers are still good if you add all the things together. Somebody was had a graphic out the other day. If you add, you know, the BP, you add the net, you add um, Ken Palm, you add all these together, we're at the top of all the bubble teams if you average them all together. That's with with those two losses. You take those two losses out because of COVID, guys, I think, I think we're solidly in, but I'm a little biased. No, no. Here, here's my here's my problem, Travis, and it's not with you. I, yeah. I just feel so bad for your team because yeah. I, I've told everybody this. If you didn't have that pause, I, I think you would have been a top twenty five team all year long. Right. I do. I, I think I just don't know how the committee is going to try to disertain between a team that had a month long pause and a team that had a two week pause. That yeah. that's my only point. Is like how do you how do you try to figure it out with all these teams around the country? Stanford not playing at home for all year. You guys having a month. Louisville having three pauses. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, it's tough. I agree. Uh, I agree. But I do think you have to take it all into consideration. They said that. They said it before the year started that they were going to take it in consideration. And, again, I think you got to look at we were 7-1, and one, and then we, again, 11 players, 11 out of 15. Um, it, it, it was a crazy time. and. And another thing, our protocols within our city and guidelines are the toughest I've, I've heard of. I called every coach during that time, trying to figure out well, how do we handle this. We had our, our guys who were positive were out 17 days and couldn't do anything. That's just the protocol here. Yeah. You're in for 10 and then you come out for seven and you go to the doctor for three days. You get to ride the bike for 15 minutes. Excuse me. They do let you ride the bike <laughs> for 15 minutes. Um, 
But it was a crazy time. And, and is it a coincidence that we lose our first two no. games coming out? No, no we get so. it. Like, we totally get it. And like yeah. I said, listen, if it were up to me, I would put you in. I, I yeah. honestly would. I think I think you can beat teams. Well, I need to get you on that committee real quick. I need to get you over there in the room in Indianapolis as fast as possible. I just don't know if those committee members are – I don't know how they're going to look at it. Again. I agree. I right? agree. As you can imagine, guys, I've talked to everybody in the last three days that I could yeah. talk to and figure this thing out. Some believe that they'll absolutely do it. Some don't know. Uh, I think there has to be that conversation. If you're trying – and. Uh, Again, somebody put it to me this way. Do, would anybody want to play you guys right now? I'm like, hell no. no. I mean, you got to ask no. somebody else. I no. mean, uh, to me, that says a lot. You know, we and and I don't, you know, again, our last game, St. Bonner Beaches, we, 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 if we'd won that game, probably been in, but we didn't. We didn't. Uh, they outplayed us. You know, Schmitty's done an amazing job over there. They were the number one seed, uh, just outplayed us. But we'd still won seven of our last 10, even with that game. After just losing those two games right out of COVID, um, you know, I, I think it's a strong case. I really do. And I'm sure there's others, but I think it's a strong case for our guys to get in this tournament, hopefully. I want you in the first four, Travis. I'm well, I'm going I'm going a week, uh, I'm going Tuesday, next Tuesday to Indy. I want to see you in the first four. Cause honestly, I think you can make a run. I, I really do. Well, if we're there, I'll be dinner and we'll uh, we'll uh, do it for you you're know, not allowed positive, no, no. positivity you're sending our way we need every bit of it <laughs> if, you if just you're gotta make him pay travis you gotta make him pay he doesn't do that enough yeah <laughs> I, I don't I, travis knows that from his umass days don't worry he knows <laughs> he knows that i'm not reaching in my pocket although i had a lot less money when travis first <laughs> yeah, came right. to umass i got i'm making a little bit more money so that's good um travis what what is it about your team that if you get in that yeah. you think you can because I really do. You're older. You're talented. Yep. You got guys that can score. You got tough. You know what's on your team. Um, why can you win? Not not only one game. I think you can win multiple games. Yeah. Let me go back, Jeff, to to last year when COVID hit. We were the hottest team in the country. A lot of people are. You know, we'd won like seven of our last eight. We were really, really rolling, really playing well. Come back this year, we're seven and one, and we we added the NC State game. Just, I mean, in a 48-hour period, we were literally getting on a plane and going to go play Michigan. Nobody knows this. We were going to go play Michigan within less than 24 hours. We were yeah. talking to them in my office when I'm at, like, at 6 p.m. They said, well, I think we can play tomorrow night. We're like, we'll be there. We'll be there. That was in the middle of December, and it ended up not happening. But we've done everything we could. We were rolling right along. And uh, we do. We have some bad. We got Jordan Goodwin, double double guy at six three. We got Javante Perkins, which is an elite scorer who's announced he's coming back for another year. Hassan French, two time All Conference player, and we've added depth. You know, we've got some depth with Martin Linson inside, Jimmy Bell inside. We got Yuri Collins, who's one of the leading assist guides in the country. Um, and you know we we've got some weapons, we've got some depth, we've got Gibson Jimerson who wasn't, and Fred Thatch who didn't play on our team last year because of injuries. They're back. Um, we've got a veteran team physically. We can match up to anybody physically. Uh, we play three bigs uh, that are as physical as as anybody in the country. Uh, we have a team that can compete in the NCAA tournament if given the chance. I think people would say that. If you asked, I wouldn't want to play us at this point. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. All right, Travis. Well, listen, thank you for coming on. Thank you for letting Goodman know um, about how yeah. good you guys are. And, I like uh, the surprise. Yeah. Foster didn't tell me, Travis. This is a good I morning think. surprise. I like this. I like it. I like it. Good. Well, it's good. I, well, I, I think it, people... guys. I do. I was hoping to be on ask really good questions instead of her dad here, but uh, – some really high-end <laughs> journalistic questions, but I guess I just have to deal with Jeff. But yeah, as I tell Jeff, Jeff all along, she does a great job, an incredible Thanks, job. Thanks. Great I appreciate job. it. I appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to wave to you next week in the first four or something like that. We can't have dinner, just so you know. It's okay. illegal. That, that's true. I've got, I've got my mask here, though. I've got my uh, Get it ready. mask ready. So. All right. All right. Good luck, and uh, Thanks, guys. we'll talk soon. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it.